guys had four plays in double figures and none of them was, was Tia. Uh, how rare is that? Um, I was just talking to the other reporter there. There's been a couple games this year where she, where she either didn't have a field goal or one game she didn't even score a point, but in that game, that game she had 14 assists. I don't know what her assists were today, but I'm sure it was up there pretty good. Um, she, she, she just does whatever it takes to win. You know, she um, handles the ball for us, obviously, and passes the ball and just does, does whatever it is needed, you know. And the way that they were playing today, they weren't giving her a lot of open looks anyway, that, that zone that they were playing. But other kids all step up. And that's I, I told the kids the first day of practice that a team of, a team of a bunch of good players will beat a team of just a couple good players yeah. every single day because how, how do you prepare for us? Yeah. I mean, you know, I get surprised by kids once in a while with the game they had. Destiny Clough today was just, you know, she was ready to play. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you know, how your inside game seems huge. You know, Destiny had 15, uh, Katie at 11, uh, Abby at 11. You know, for, for your in, you know those three bigs to you know kind of dominate like that. How big was that in, in the win? It was it was huge. You know, get, getting the ball in, inside against that zone. You know, once we got the ball reversed, we could attack the attack the post a little bit more, and uh, that that obviously was huge because their zone was kind of funky where they you know they were clogging up the middle some, but then yet they could get out onto our shooters some too. And, and uh, But yeah, the inside play was excellent. Uh, you guys were able to run that, you know, the the, the press, you know, get some of those steals. You guys only had one foul in the first half. How big was that to to have that work so well? Yeah, you know, we, we just we just press all the time anyway because we we play so many kids that we just figure we're going to wear other teams out. And that's that's the main reason we press. If we get steals out of it, we get steals out of it, you know. But but usually it's just a 32 minute game where we just wear teams out, and that's 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 our approach generally. Uh, you guys seem like you ended the, the first, second, and third quarters all you know on runs against them. How big was it for the girls? Like you, you know to keep like like you were just saying to uh, you know finish strong and, and wear teams out. I missed, yeah, I missed you, the question. You, got, you guys uh, ended the first, second, and third all on runs. Yeah. How big was that to just yeah, as part of wearing you know the the Saints out? Yeah, you know, it, 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 when you have a run like that, it kind of demoralizes the other team sometimes, you know. And that's what we talk about all the time: that meet those milestones, get it to ten, get it to fifteen, get it to twenty, get it to twenty-five, thirty, maybe if you can, because every single one of those little milestones that you open up a lead, it just puts so much more pressure on the other team. And, they obviously have to start doing things that they didn't want to do, and uh, and you know it changes their game plan. And usually, usually a game plan is a game plan. And when you get a team to change their game plan, then they're not going to be as successful. This is a good feeling win to start the playoffs for you guys. It's always a good feeling to win anything. <laughs> yeah, and, and winning this first one is always big. You know, a lot of, a lot of crazy things happen in quarterfinals in this building.